Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. the second episode of the Easter Crime Time Show. What do we have on the menu today? Well, as always, guess the sound. And this time, hints. Let's get an easier of reach down, people. Just guess in the comment section. Also, second episode of Paradise Motel. Six guests checks in. Only one will be checking out. <gasps> How mysterious! Well, it is Easter crime time after all. <laughs> also, today's special I read Tinder texts. Because you know what? There's a place called Tinderlines.com where they just compile all the messed up Tinder lines people have been receiving, which is pretty hilarious. Pencil day. Hmm. I guess being able to erase your mistakes is kind of mysterious. Also, doctor's day. You see, if you want a little tidbit about sex ed, you can check out my video, Sex Ed with Nurse Nancy. It's in my list of videos. Okay. Also, take a walk in the park day. A walk in the park will keep the doctor away. Unless it's sex ed. Everybody should know that. Okay? So check out my lesson. First up, Paradise Motel. Now, Sexy Jesus of the white tea. He's a crystal fan. However, Turtle Pig, he's on Team Sandy. Who do you think should win? Paradise Motel. Maybe some of the new arrivals will sway the audience. totally gonna win this. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> I did not participate in today's challenge. Okay? You do not juggle with these nails. Okay? Obvious. Today's challenge was really easy. Uh, today's challenge, I, I knew that being on a reality TV show would be mentally difficult. <sighs> like, oh, so hard. Like, like, you know, I'm so, like, perfect for, like, winning the show. And I think it's really unfair because we had to be, like, quiet for five minutes. To like, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to like excuse why I didn't win today's challenge. But you know, I think it's really unfair that they're going to pick something like being silent for five minutes because that is so hard. 
for me. You know, me and that um, shy girl mixing with it, yeah. yeah. Everybody else could not shut the fuck up. Like, it's a challenge where you have to be silent for five minutes and you can't hack it. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, and they were like, you're, you're not, you're lost. And I was like, no, and they're like, we think you've been drinking. I'm roommates with Mindy. And I was like, no way! They were being so rude because I only had one margarita, no, two margaritas, and one cosmopolitan. <coughs> one cosmopolitan. Like, she talks in her fucking sleep and one bottle of schnapps so it was totally out of line to be like you need to stop drinking or you're gonna be disqualified from the show like well in the silence of the competition I felt like it was a natural it was a natural opening for me to Inform them of their sinful ways. Okay? Fuck you, Paradise Motel. Because you know what? I I am not gonna be held responsible if I fucking sleep murder that bitch. So naturally I started cooling the Bible. And I did so for five minutes until they made me stop. Those heathens! I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because they said that tomorrow we're going to have a special challenge um, that like um, is about sex ed. And like I think that I know so much about that because all my boyfriends have told me like, you're so good at this! And they're like, do this! And I'm like, yay! And I'm like, that always does the trick. So yeah, that, that is definitely one of my strong suits. Sexual education. <laughs> education in sin and how to go to hell. This disturbs me very much, and um, if we're going to be bringing up anything but abstinence only, I'm going to be thoroughly horrified. What does Ed stand for? And now, guess the sound! Guess the sound! Guess the sound! Guess Opening something and pink. Those are your hints. Good luck guessing. And now, let's read some hilarious Tinder pickup lines! Okay, Adam says, But you never fucked a break dancer. You never fucked a Red Bull bad boy. B-boy, B-boy, probably bad boy. I don't really care about that. I've fucked a lot of talented guys, so I'll be fine not fucking you. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense, but anyway, that does make like that makes so much sense, girl. You want to fuck truck? 
autocorrect it into truck. My friend's selling his Ford F-150 and I'm trying to advertise it for him. Sorry if you wanted to fuck. I really am just trying to help my friend sell his car. Oh my god. Then go, don't go on Tinder, Jack. I just railed a loan of coke of a stripper's boob. <laughs> How does that line normally work for you? The line of coke or the line as in the phrase? One definitely works better than the other. Okay, good for you. Hi, if you would like to get together for an anything goes full GFE, probably girlfriend experience. I know that because I saw a documentary, okay? I saw a documentary. No, really. I'm a documentary obsessed person. And you're shaking your heads thinking, no, that's not why, but that, that's really why I know. Uh, session. My rate is $1.25 an hour. I am on tingirls.com, NSA Rachel, if you interested. What if I only want to beat it up for a few minutes? I guess it's probably like a sexual reference, but it kind of sounds like you want to domestic violence for a little bit. I can't wait to introduce you to my mom. You must have matched me on accident because you're perfect. Sit in my face. You're worth the heroines. Herpes. Fuck, never mind. I accept pity, sexy. What? And nobody ain't worth no herpes, okay? Don't, no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, that is the standard everybody should have. No. Don't be contracting STDs and saying, you worth it, honey. We're condoms, for God's sake, come on. I'm going to skip the small talk, top five list, favorite flightless birds, go. No answer. And you're going to skip that part, touche. Faith. Clever move. Hmm. Faith, you need to not respond when guys don't respond to you. Same girl. Okay. Hi. Please don't be another one of those Tinder whore accounts. Wow, that actually came off really bad. Really? Didn't mean it that way. Moops. Moops. What does moops mean? Hi, I am glad you liked my photos. I am available for the girlfriend experience. Faith judging. For 120 tingirls.com sizzle tits. I fucking knew it! Yes, you did, dude. You did. You did. Nick says, I want to poop back and forth forever. <laughs> or maybe they send it to Nick, I don't know. But the other person replies, what the fuck? Which is a very good response to that. How do I tell my dog he was adopted? The same way you tell him you're a loser? It's mean. Me, me, me. You look like you have a nice horn that I'd like to blow. Sorry, that was my gay friend, Harry. Was it really? <laughs> Your invisible imaginary friend, Harry, maybe? Wanna fuck? When you say fuck, do you mean coming to my house with flowers, meeting my parents, taking me to dinner, and, ta and taking me home? Talk about how wonderful of a night we had and repeat it again and again until I feel comfortable having sex with you? Then yes, I want to fuck. <laughs> that's good there, that's good. Good girl. I'm guessing that's a girl. Good on you. What do girls and noodles have in common? What? They both wiggle when you eat them. Ew. 
that's just bad visual noodles all around. You know, so no, no. Down, thumbs down for that pickup line, a bad one. Looking for a hookup. I only accept 10 inches or above. You can't make an exception for an eight, ha ha. I need them brown from the waist down, Teddy. You know what that means? Comment below because I don't know what that means. Fun ass comments. Anal brown, maybe. Who knows? Drew. Hey girl, let me start by saying you look great. Next, I want to point out the things I'm looking to do. You. I want to cover you in skim milk and milk duds to the point you look like a wet Dalmatian. From there, I'll take you to the zoo and let the polar bears have their gentle way with you. But the milk duds will surely give them the shits. We can have a slip and slide poo orgy in the polar bear exhibit with the zookeepers and make millions on red tube. The most successful people are entrepreneurs. What do you say? Well, Drew, that was a really, really good way to make a girl not want to sleep with you. Thumbs up for you if that was what you wanted to achieve because you achieved it. I want fresh anus. I mean, I have an anus, but it's nothing close to fresh. Well, put an air freshener in there and I'll dive right in. Really? Ew. That shirt looks very becoming on you. If I were on you, I'd be coming too. Clever with the words, that one. I know it's not original, but it's my favorite. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. Aren't they all? Not. Steven. I'd crawl over a thousand miles of broken glass just to suck the dick of the last guy who fucked you. Okay. That is a bit over enthusiastic. A little bit. A little bit. Well, I know your bio says no hookups. But how about a one-day waiver pass on that? Bye. Wait, I'm going to say something, and if you like it, you can take it. And if you don't, just send it right back. I want to be on you. Fuck you. She didn't send it right back. Maybe she liked it. <laughs> I want to be inside you. Hope I'm not bean too forward. Well, you broke Bean, like in Mr. Bean, and two, as in one O. Bean to forward. Hmm. Who knows if you're Bean to forward? Wow, though, if you like anal, we are getting married because you are perfect. That is not a good pickup line, Sean. So probably I shouldn't answer that. I would run 10 miles through broken glass with rubbing alcohol on my feet and an Asian on my back, whipping me, telling me to go faster, all while a midget follows me on a moped, firing rubber bullets at my back just to shake the hand of the janitor that cleaned your high school desk. That's funny. <laughs> that takes the other one and like flips it and it makes it like kind of hilarious. Kind of racist too, but hilarious. <laughs> You're so hot, if you ate a slice of bread, you'd poop toast. I don't eat bread. Bread makes you fat. Let me try again. If you were a robot, you'd be Optimus Fan. But I'm not a robot. If you were a bitch, your name would be Renee. Which is... <sighs> Rawr. I have a face, and it worked. If you look correctly, yes, I can magic. Wow, don't drink in Tinder. Christoph, that is probably true. I hope you like cheesy pick up lines because you were, a, if you were a fruit, 
you would be a fun apple. And if you were a vegetable, I would totally visit you on, in the hospital as much as they allow me to. Ew. That is creepy. That kind of raping. Comes, can sit on my face. Oh sure, I can. You sure do look like a toilet seat. Okay. Hi, handsome. We've got one icebreaker question for you. What is the kinkiest thing that you've ever done? And be honest. One time, I stuck a cucumber up my asshole and made my girlfriend eat it. Throw it back up and call in three black midgets to eat the vomit off my stomach while her parents watched? That is so traumatizing, Mr. Reed. How did you write that? You've been watching too much weird porn. If you like that, comments below. If you thought it was hilarious, like I did, I was having a lot of fun reading that. Some funny plot twists in that one. Then uh, comment, you know, like, subscribe, and, uh, you know, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, me doing this kind of stuff, then uh, you should say so in the comment section. If you're not a subscriber of mine yet, look at that awesome moustache. Isn't it amazing? You see, if you click it, you'll become my moustache, because that's what I call my subscribers. Do you want to become one of the mustache people? Also, if you didn't see yesterday's episode of Easter Crime Time, click that arrow and it'll take you there. Tomorrow's episode will be clickable in the next episode, Yellow Yolk. And I stacked Ed Special in that little adorable box labeled sex and special. Click it and you'll get to that video. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's all the advice I never got in school. It's my, yeah, we got shitty advice in school. My school was not good on that front. Like, I think a lot of people in the same boat, like, I know some people got great sex ed in school. I was just not one of them. See you tomorrow!